this is our project today, uh, just a fun sign for our barn. We got some Nubian goats uh, recently. Uh, we've had lots of goats over the years, but these are our first real milk goats, and we're not really going to sell milk or cheese or anything, but we thought it'd be fun to have a sign in the barn that, uh, like you might put up a hundred years ago if you weren't going to do that. So this, this was designed uh, on the computer and then cut with a CNC machine, and then I've got a video out there called Easy CNC Sign Making where I put um, contact paper down and then route through it, and then you can just kind of slop the paint on there when you come back to paint it. Well, I forgot to do that when I did this one, so it was just a nightmare to paint. But anyway, we got it painted. Uh, my daughter and my wife helped me get it all painted. And uh, anyway, we also made the hardware to uh, hang it up here. And uh, I think that's it. All right, let's get started. We've got some paper laid down so glue doesn't get on the bench top and then a couple of pipe clamps here and we're going to get this glued up. I clamped these on here uh, to make sure my sides, or make sure this was straight. And uh, these are, they actually have a name, I can't remember what they're called, but they're basically just, um, I glued two strips of oak together and then jointed them nice and flat. And then I put a piece of uh, clear packing tape on there to keep the glue from sticking to them. Alright, that's got our board. I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry completely. Here's the panel. It's been sanded and it's pretty flat. So, uh, next thing I've got to do is get it on the table saw and get it uh, squared up into the correct size. All right, I got it painted and mounted on the uh, CNC machine. I've just got it tightened down with these little dogs that I made just out of wood. They seem to do a pretty good job. All right, I got a V-bit cutter in there and we're going to see if we can cut some letters without making a mistake here. So, all right, I think we're ready to go. I'm a little nervous because I don't think this thing's just super flat and you know using a v-cutter it affects the width of your letters depending on whether or not the router bits going down in there the right amount or not so Here we are uh, right off the CNC machine and next I just got to get it painted so here's the sign and I've painted in the letters pretty much and uh, just wanted to show you. I have a, a, a video out there that's called Easy CNC Sign Making and uh, it shows how you can put contact paper on top of the wood before you cut it out. It makes it easier to paint. Well, I got in a hurry and didn't do that on this and just wanted to show you. Okay, so see how I got it all, you know, it comes out on the edge and then you wipe it off and it makes a big old mess. I don't even see that or not. So anyway, especially over here it looks really bad. So I'm going to now what I gotta do is try to roll take a foam roller like this and 
with it pretty with white paint on it but pretty dry I'm gonna lightly go over it and it should cover this stuff up we'll see how it does all right so I'm trying to get this on here and then just I see all that lumpy stuff I'm gonna have to kind of start out here where there's no letters and kind of get it to where it's good and flat and then see as, as I roll over it it's just staying right on the top probably going to take several coats to correct all this it's looking a lot better though All right, I'm going to get this finished up and then I'll be back. I just wanted to mention you got to do a really light coat and you know you got to be careful because if I went this way I would fall down in these letters and it looks like I've actually done that just a little bit there. So still looks okay. All right, we're going to make a couple of hangers uh, to hang this up on the wall and um, this end is smaller than this end and we're using a bender. Uh, that I make in another video. Um, so if you're interested in how to make this, it's out there. And I'm also not going to spend much time. I'm just going to kind of fast forward through making this because uh, I've got a video that shows you how to make hardware on this same thing. So. Now to get them both the same length, I've put a mark right here at two inches from this end. And it doesn't really matter uh, two inches could have been maybe inch and a half even but uh, and then I'm putting that right against the edge and that just helps me get them both the same length all right that's got our two matching hooks made all right I've got a coat of polyurethane on here gave it a nice gloss finish and uh, I just used a Minwax uh, polyurethane clear gloss. If you don't like this real glossy finish, you can of course use a semi-gloss or even a flat. Okay, uh, the next thing we've got to do to this is get some hangers put on the back um, so that we can get it hung up. Here's the hangers that we made. And I just want to get them the same distance on each side. I'm going to bring them in three inches. And then I actually want these to stick uh, proud of this end. I want them to stick up where you can see them. I just kind of, that's kind of the look I'm going for. I'm right on the edge of a board right there, so I'm going to drill a little pilot hole. I'm just going to put a little tape on there so I don't drill through the front of my sign. All right, that's got our hangers put on. And so that has got this sign uh, finished up. I hope you enjoyed the project. Thank you for watching.